What is up, everybody? Ethan here with Pokemon LLC, bringing you another top five video. Today, we are going to be talking about the top five Pokemon that you would not want to meet in the wild. Um, I've got my own personal reasons. I did my research. If you think there's another one that is more menacing than the some that I have listed, make sure you let me know in the comments and tell me why you wouldn't want to meet in the wild. But let's get into it. Before we get into the main part of the video, we have some honorable mentions. First off is Beedrill. Beedrill is 3 foot 3 inches and weighs approximately 65 pounds. I can't find an exact measurement on its stingers, but I can assume that they are at least 12 inches long. Can you imagine walking around outside and attacked by a swarm of angry Beedrill? No thanks. As our final honorable mention, we have Tentacruel. Tentacruel is 5 foot 3 inches and weighs 121 pounds. It has 80 tentacles and a giant beak used to devour its prey. And if that isn't enough, once you get caught by Tentacruel, you escape the tentacles, you don't get eaten. At the very least, you're going to be poisoned as you try to escape, ultimately resulting in your death. But all you have to do to avoid it is never go swimming, which is why Tentacruel didn't make the final list. Now let's get on to the main event. Coming in at number 5, we have Arbok. Arbok is 11 foot 6 inches and weighs 143 pounds. Arbok is the King Cobra Pokemon, showing boa constrictor traits. Arbok is very territorial. They are known to be vengeful and ruthless when pursuing anything that anchors them. It is said that Arbok can flatten steel oil drums. Once it constricts its prey, there is no getting away. Imagine you are taking a stroll in the park, and you step on its tail. Obviously, you make it very upset, and then a chase ensues from your little mistake. You can run as far away as you want, but it won't detour from its goal. It may not get you today or tomorrow, but it will get you eventually. Hence, the vengeful and ruthless nature of Arbok on the hunt. Coming in at number 4, we have Garchomp. I'm sure you expected this monstrosity to be on the list. Garchomp is 6 foot 3 inches, weighing in at 209 pounds. Garchomp is the land version of a hammerhead shark, with sharp spines all over its body. Once it mega evolves, its two front claws become scythes, and gains an uncontrollable rage, throwing tantrums and slashing at enemies into scraps. Garchomp is known to have violent matches with its natural rival, Salamance. What's even scarier about Garchomp is that it can fly, not in the way that a bird can, but it folds its body and extends its wings, and it will launch off at supersonic speeds. When it is in full speed, it can cut a tree completely down. Garchomp is known to nosedive into entire flocks of bird Pokemon, devouring them all. There is no hiding from Garchomp. The protuberances on its head serve as sensors, detecting nearby prey. I don't think I need to explain why meeting this Pokemon in real life would be a terrifying experience. Coming in at number 3, we have a pair of Pokemon, Drowsy and Hypno. Drowsy is 3 foot 3 inches, 74 pounds, and Hypno is 5 foot 3 inches, 166 pounds. Now the pair may not be the most terrifying looking Pokemon, nor are they that great in combat, but what is so scary about them is how they will devour someone's dreams, especially children's, because they taste better, as stated in the Pokemon Silver Pokedex. It is said that if you are asleep in bed, and your nose begins to itch. Drowsy or Hypno is attempting to eat your dreams. These Pokemon are known to become playful with children, and then lure them away to feast upon their dreams, leaving them scarred for life. What if one night you just fell asleep and got stuck in an everlasting nightmare caused by one of these Pokemon? You're not even safe when you're sleeping, and that is truly terrifying. Coming in at number 2, we have Tyranitar. Tyranitar is 6 foot 7 inches and weighs 445 pounds. Tyranitar is a large bipedal Pokemon, closely depicted to a dinosaur. It is covered with armor all over its body and several spikes coming out. Its arms and legs are small and chubby, and it has rather short fangs, but that isn't what's so scary. One swing of the tail can flatten an entire mountain. Who's to say a Tyranitar doesn't just get mad and come and level your entire town? The only reason you would know it's coming is because of the rapid hyperbeam attacks it would be launching all over, destroying everything in its path. 
its uncontrollable rage is not easily extinguished. It has to tire itself out. The thought of your entire town being destroyed by one of these beasts in just a blink of an eye is scary. Finally, coming in at number one, we have, and I'm sure you guessed it, Gyarados. Gyarados is 21 feet 4 inches and weighs 518 pounds. Gyarados is a dragon-like Pokemon, serpentine in shape, and its body is covered in blue and yellow scales. On its forehead is a crest, which is fitting because it depicts Gyarados being the king of the ocean. All for a good reason as well. Gyarados is very violent, and there isn't anything that it can't destroy once it begins to rampage. It will not stop until everything in its path is destroyed. Hard to believe that everyone's favorite fish Magikarp turns into such a monster, but it is said that once Magikarp evolves, its brain cells undergo a structural transformation, causing the wildly violent nature. You think you can avoid Gyarados by staying away from the sea? Think again. In the first Pokemon movie, Gyarados is shown flying, and it can control wind in order to manipulate the weather. I'm not saying it can go far, but any form of mobility for this sea dragon is way too much. It's just unsettling to know that at any time this Pokemon pleases, it can set ruin to the world and give us all hell in a handbasket. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you were enjoying the top five videos, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and on your screen right now, you are going to see my first top five video talking about my top five fire type Pokemon. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Thanks.